Hi and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new Salem Villa Classic 395 FK LTD model. We'll take a few minutes walk you around the outside and the inside of this coach. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice on the outsides of the Villa product, uh, this is a destination trailer so it's got a little more uh, different front end basically. Uh, so you got a really nice window area here across the front. You've got a little porch covering kind of look to it here that kind of comes out. You've got the upgraded gutter extensions here uh, to basically help shed away the water. Uh, gutters run down both sides of the coach. You've got uh, two 30-pound propane tanks up here on the front. Also, we do provide you with one battery that goes here on the rack right there. Uh, this unit has the optional 10-gallon gas electric water heater. Uh, basically, in the lower left-hand corner here, it turns on electricity. You've got your furnace exhaust here, stove exhaust here. You've got black-framed uh, tented windows here. Really nice upgrade. You've got a really nice awning here covering both entry doors. Sliding glass door here. Uh, triple entrance step. If you build the porch, obviously you won't need those, uh, but uh, you do have a triple entrance step going in there. You've got a large folding entry handle here. Uh, you've got uh, porch light above here and also above the secondary door back here in the back. Secondary door also has the screen door on it as well too. It's a radius top door, so if it does touch the awning materials, less likely to damage it versus the cheaper square doors uh, some brands use. You've got uh, two outdoor speakers here as well, too. Triple entrance step on the rear also. Uh, also on the rear of the coach, you do have uh, tie-downs. There's tie-downs on the front as well, too, here, but that's what these little brackets are for. A lot of people on these destination trailers block them, and then you can strap them into the ground. They call them hurricane straps, uh, basically just to kind of give it a little more stability. You've got a nice crowned roof for better water runoff here. You've got uh, cable and satellite hookups back here on the rear. You've got your power cord right there below the uh, license plate light holder there. You've got three slide outs on this coach. The back one here is for the master bedroom. Basically you've got storage that goes up underneath of here. You've got your dump station area here, basically gray, black water handles here. Middle slide out here is the kids' bunk room area. And you got the big living room slide. Also notice a nice arch in the ceiling up there as well too. Uh, you got your air conditioner up there. That arch area is for the uh, ceiling fan, giving you a little nicer height inside the coach. Coming around to the front area here, you've got your city water hookups, fresh water fill, and then you got your fresh water drain there next to the other strap area. Nice, solid bottom here. Really neat front look to it. Take a few minutes to walk you through the inside of the camper here. Um, also these yellow stickers here, this tells you your uh, unloaded weight here and your carrying capacity. Basically 9,682 pounds, carrying capacity 1788. VIN numbers, VIN number on that sticker, and then also on the other corner of the camper they do that as well too. Going up into the camper here. <coughs> Basically you've got a queen bed here. Nightstands on each side. Electric outlet on each side as well too. Overhead cabinetry. Has the uh, light there in the center. Also, you have an electric outlet on this side, heat duct down here as well, too. Uh, you've got your uh, air conditioning duct up here, another air conditioning duct, ceiling uh, vent fan there, or ceiling uh, vent, not a fan. Uh, you've got an electric outlet down here as well, too, room to maneuver around the bed area here. 
This area actually raises up as well. Got a little cut out here in the bed frame so you could do like a laundry basket or your shoes, things like that. Uh, get to the storage area here. Also notice two plywood. Uh, they don't actually use OSB boards like a lot of brands use, so you actually got some plywood there. Uh, also, here's the uh, screen door. Got a really nice uh, wardrobe area here. Basically, full extending ball bearing drawer guides on your dresser drawers here. Nice little uh, area here for hanging clothes and everything. Little hooks up there. Overhead cabinetry as well. You've got your TV hookups here. Basically TV antenna and cable here. Satellite here. Booster for the antenna here. If you're using cable or satellite, turn the booster off. Moving up the hallway area here, basically you've got uh, vinyl flooring, got your electric box with your breakers and fuses, you've got your uh, air conditioning and furnace controls here as well too. In the bathroom area here you've got a foot flush toilet, you've got your heat duct down there, vinyl flooring in the bathroom area, you've got a nice area here for your towels and your washcloths and stuff like that as well too. Uh, ducted air in the bathroom, uh, vent with a fan in it here. You've got the uh, glass shower enclosure here, really nice, basically works on little roller wheels just kind of coming around. Got a actual wood medicine cabinet here, little decorative lighting up above. Some storage down below the sink area there. Going up here toward the front area, basically you've got a uh, hallway light switch here. You've got your TV antenna crank up handle here. And you've also got a smoke detector here as well too. Got your propane leak detector down there. The next room up here basically is the kids bunk room. You've got a light switch here on the wall as well too. In the bunk area here basically you've got a jackknife sofa with a fold down armrest area here. Makes into a nice little bed uh, or can be functional for the kids to sit in here on a rainy day, play their games and stuff. You've got a bunk over top, emergency exit window, light up here as well. Um, nice feature here, this actually raises up and latches in. Basically giving you more headroom for the kids to sit around here during the daytime. Uh, electric outlet on that side of the slide. Another one on that side of the slide. You've got uh, in-floor ducted heat here in the mass in the bedroom as well. Got your TV hookups there to the wall. Put your flat screen up. Got ducted air vent here and another ducted air vent here. So two air vents in this room. Uh, again, full extending. Ball bearing drawer guides even in the kids' rooms. Nice overhead cabinet area here. Just trying to make use of a lot of the space. Going out here to the main entry door area, you've got your uh, monitor panels here. Basically fresh water, black water, battery conditions, everything kind of lights up here telling you what's going on. Uh, water pump, if you need to use the water pump instead of city water. Uh, you've got water heater on gas if this red light kicks on telling you it's getting ready to try and light it'll go out fire up if it comes back on that means it didn't light turn it off try again slide out controls ceiling light for the living room porch light as well uh, ceiling fan on off switch there as well too got a really nice ceiling fan up there with the light and everything in it 110 electric um, you've got your ducted air conditioner system here You've also got some nice uh, cube speakers for the stereo system and everything. 
Uh, stereo system here basically is a DVD player, also a CD player, MP3s. Uh, you've got a USB hookup here, auxiliary inputs, um, you know, equalizers and things like that, all kind of built in here. Outdoor speakers, on off switches, things like that, all right here. Nice little upgraded stereo. Um, basically, when you put your TV in, you've got your uh, VGA cables here to hook to the TV for the DVD portion. Uh, you've got your uh, antenna hookups and stuff here. Electric outlet down there, another one up there. Nice little cabinetry area as well. Got overhead cabinets, nice little decorative lights here in the living room area. You've got nightshades on the windows. Uh, jackknife sofa here in the living room area. Has a really nice big drawer down here uh, for extra bedding or storage space, whatever you want to use it for. This unit has the booth dinette, has storage under both seats areas here. They also offer an option for a freestanding table and chairs. Uh, you can do that through the factory or you can remove it by your own aftermarket. Just a handful of screws basically pulls that all apart and basically put in your own freestanding dinette. You've got the nice big household refrigerator here. It's got a little travel lock here, basically for travel purposes, but it's basically a nice household refrigerator. Uh, you've got a lot of drawer space, cabinet space here. Again, full extending, ball bearing drawer guides here as well too. Got some storage underneath the here. Electric outlet over here. Nightshades you can see there some lighting and stuff up above the sink area. You've got high-rise faucet here. You've got the larger 22-inch suburban oven, uh, three-burner stove top, has the glass flip-up cover here. Uh, really nice feature, just folds in and out. The top three burners have a sparker to light them. It's a nice upgrade. And then you've got a pilot light for the oven portion. You've got a light and fan up here in your hood range. You've got a high point microwave here. It's got the rotisserie tray. Another electric outlet next to the stove. Another one over here on the left. So just here in the counter space area, you've got three electric outlets here. Uh, so you've got plenty of place for your toasters and coffee pots and all that stuff. A uh, nice amount of storage under there. Also notice the color coding of the water lines so you know which ones are supposed to be what if you ever have an issue. Really nice big uh, area here as well too for pantry. A lot of storage space here. Again, this has been a video on the Salem Villa 395FK. Thanks for taking the time to check out our video. If you have any questions, please give us a call. 1-888-417-8299. That's 1-888-417-8299. Again, this has been a video on the Salem 395FK here at Jeff Couch's RV Nation. We are one of the largest wholesale dealers in the United States. We will definitely save you thousands over your local dealer. Thanks for taking the time to check us out.